The game is over. Who's the loser? You are. You can be fined up to a thousand dollars, or lose your beer license, or that hurts. Beer is one of the most important products you sell because two out of three families use beer as a beverage. Two out of three. The U.S. drinks one and a half billion cases a year. That's enough to fill a tank the size of a football field 15 miles high. A big sip of it comes through convenience stores. They depend on it to stay in business. The average store sells about $30,000 worth a year. But beer's not the only thing involved here. Chances are you will sell related items. Chips. Chip dip snack foods, and picnic supplies, and also non-related items, milk, bread, and who knows what. This is the way the store stays in business. Some young people would play games with your license. If you're careful, you get to keep it. If not, you're stuck with peanuts. It's not a game you want to lose. You have only two cards to play with. Valid identification and good judgment. But not a bad hand when you think about it. Take identification, for instance. The common driver's license is the best form of identification. Best if laminated. If not, it can be altered. Check this one. Closely. Does the description match? It doesn't always. In running a bluff, a person may wrinkle and soil his card. That's a good trick. It obscures alterations and makes it hard to read. If in doubt, ask for more ID, such as a selective service card, liquor purchase card, or anything federal or state in origin. The third group of numbers from the left is the year of birth. See anything wrong here? There is one other good identification card, the military ID card. Complete with picture and description. You know, some kids get pretty good at the game of deception. But employees get good at detecting their little games because they know their business is at stake. Be suspicious of youths who park at the side or rear of the store. Youths who try to purchase beer quickly. Or those.
those who try to hide their age. Don't allow yourself to be distracted. Well, he checked everything but her age. Be careful of women. Some have cheating hearts. And they're hard to detect. and hard to deny. You know, I left my driver's license at home, along with my draft card. I don't... I have my student identification well, card. It I is state law that I have some identification with yes, the yes. A-Bank. And, uh... My picture's sophomore. there, and, and there's my mm -hmm. classification still sophomore, which would be a different Is that okay? I'm sorry, but state law requires that I have to have an identification with your age on it. Well, that's silly. Sir, I was, I, was, I was in here Saturday, right? And we bought a couple six packs, and uh, they made trouble. He, What's the they didn't ask me for an ID. No, he didn't ask me for an identification. Well, we usually do. And, uh, you don't believe I made change? I'm a poor judge of age. I need some valid identification. Okay, well, my father comes in here. He's like 45, and he doesn't have his identification. Well, he can't buy the beer. Well, like I said, I, I could tell someone he's 45, oh. but with you, I'd like to have uh, some identification with you. I really feel insulted. That's I really no. do. Well, this not only protects us, but it also protects you. I really don't Those who protest the most are usually under age. Don't give in to poor logic. Listen, sir. Listen, sir. Watch out during periods of peak attempts, weekends, holidays graduations and dance nights. Be alert at all times, especially when busy. Many stores have devices which serve to prevent, warn, and discourage attempts at illegal purchase of beer. Warning signs. Birthday charts. They eliminate the confusion of computing age. Sworn statements of age help sometimes. They may help prove age and protect your store. They also give the employee a check of signature against their ID. But for the most part, people will feel uneasy about signing their name, affirming that they're an age they're not. I don't think I want to sign anything. I'm sorry, buddy. No ID. If you don't sign that, no beer. Wrong. In refusal, always be courteous. Teenagers are good customers, some of your best. You can't sell them beer. But you don't want to lose the rest of their business either. I'm sorry, but without proper identification, I can't sell you the beer. Right. Chances are he didn't lose a customer this time. How about putting this back where you got it, buddy? Wrong. Never embarrass needlessly. You lost him again. Now, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. Thanks. Right. Teenagers, they usually live nearby, will be of legal age soon. Then, if you're courteous, you'll still have their business. Americans love their leisure time. And convenience stores with their quick shopping supply of beverages and related foods contribute to the nation's enjoyment of leisure time. Some stores report that beer amounts to as much as 20% of their total volume. That's good business. You can strengthen your hand by carefully checking ID on doubtful customers by being courteous and friendly, and by cooperating with local law enforcement officials. Remember, the only way to play this game is according to Hoyle, and your best bet is to obey the law. This film is for informational purposes only and does not purport to give legal advice. Since laws may vary from state to state, you are cautioned to obtain legal guidance concerning local laws.